degree students, as B form students, I am here to give you the demonstration with respect to the qualitative test for carbohydrates. As all of us are giving that carbohydrates are the polyhydroxy aldehydes or ketones or compounds obtained after hydrolysis of these. So there should be some methods which can be used for identification of whichever the sample is given to you as a carbohydrate. For that reason, there are some assigned tests are there, that is qualitative tests are there, which we can carry out to identify which is the sample given to us. That is, whether it is a monosaccharide or disaccharide, after getting to know that, we can even get to know that what exactly that particular compound is, whether it is a glucose or a fructose or a starch or a, whether it is maltose or a lactose. So, there are some series of tests are there which we need to carry out. So, coming to the different tests, so we are having the different tests like Mollis test we are having, we are having the solubility test, we have our iodine test, then Benedict's test, then Felling's test, then Barfoyd's test, uh, then Selivinov's test, then the Osazone test. So, by performing these tests in a systematic manner, we can get to know that which is the sample given to us, whether it is a glucose or fructose or a maltose or a lactose or a starch. So, coming with the different test importance, when we perform a Mollis test, we can get to know that whether the given sample is carbohydrate or not. Okay, if the given sample is carbohydrate, then our next procedure is to identify which is that. So, during that process, we go for the solubility test. If in the solubility test, if you get to know that if the compound is soluble in the distilled water, then it shows that the compound is monosaccharide or a disaccharide. If it is insoluble, it shows that the compound is a polysaccharide. Then the next test is iodine test, which will help us to find out whether the given sample contains starch or not. Okay, that is a polysaccharide results. Then there are two tests like Benedict's test and Felling's test, which will enable us to identify whether the given sample is reducing sugar or not. Then there is a test that is Barfoyd test, which will enable us to get to know that whether the given carbohydrate sample, whatever is given to us, whether it is a monosaccharide or a disaccharide. Then coming to the next test, that is Selvinov's test, it will give us the information that whatever the sample is given, whether it is a aldose containing, that is whether it is an aldose or a keto, that is aldehyde as a functional group containing carbohydrate or ketone group as a functional group containing carbohydrate. Then comes the finally the Osasum test. It is basically it is also called as vinyl hydrazine test which will enable us to get to know that whether the given sample is a glucose or a fructose or a maltose or a lactose. That is it is a final confirmative test. How we are doing that? Our students will explain the same thing and the crystals based on the types of the crystals form we will be able to tell whether it is a glucose or a fructose or a maltose or lactose. For example, for glucose and fructose we get a yellowish needle shaped crystals whereas for maltose we get the powder puff shaped crystals whereas for the lactose we get a yellowish ball print needle with the such type of the crystals. Okay, with this brief information uh, now I will call upon my students uh, to give the demonstration with respect to the identification or the qualitative test for the carbohydrate. Hello everyone, myself Nahib Gani. Today I am performing qualitative test for carbohydrate from given unknown sample. First test, Mollis test. Take 2, two ml of sample solution and 2 drops of Mollis reagent. Distilled sucrose solution inside the test tube. While we compare with some junction of two liquids to indicate the presence of carbohydrate stuff, soluble test, few ml of sample solution and add two ml of water. water. After adding, we can observe insoluble in water to indicate the presence of iodine, iodine test. Take two ml of sample solution and add 2 drops of iodine solution to, after adding to observe the appearance of blue color it is indicated indicate the presence of starch